Today's video has been brought to you from Melik in the County Clare. And over there in the distance, firstly you see the Clare Hills. And to the right of that, you're actually going over towards Newport in County Tipperary. And as the crow flies, that wouldn't be a, a big journey as the crow flies. That would be known as the direct way. But if I was to drive to Newport in County Tipperary from here, I'd be talking a good 20, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So there's a big difference between as the crow flies to some particular place and having to go there by road, the roundabout way. There's a famous verse in the Bible and it's in Timothy. And the Apostle Paul says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. That's the mediator, is the man Christ Jesus. Like a referee, go between. There's one God. The Bible is crystal clear. There's one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. And the direct way and the only way to God is through the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only way to God. I'm going to read God's word today and Luke's gospel. Bear with me. I'm reading from Luke chapter 13 verse 10. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there came, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. She glorified God. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath and behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. Because that dear woman in the Bible was bent over for 18 years, and the Bible says in Luke's Gospel, she had a spirit of infirmity. She couldn't lift herself up. That's a picture of sin. And that's a picture of being bound by sin. She was bound by that spirit of infirmity 18 years. I was 18 years old when the Lord Jesus Christ saved me. I had a filthy tongue and I had a filthy heart. And I had no time for God nor men. And I did what I wanted. And I just rebelled against everything that was right and good and proper. I had no time for God nor men. I had a little bit of religion, but didn't do any good. It was like an old suit of clothes. You can put it on once a week and then take it off afterwards. Do what you like in a Saturday night and then a little bit of God in a Sunday morning. That's all I had. But I had no relationship with God and I had no peace with God. What did the Lord Jesus do for this woman in the Bible? He called her to him first and he straightened her back. And that woman was miraculously healed by the touch of the Lord Jesus Christ. He made what was crooked straight. That's what the Lord Jesus does when he comes into someone's life and when he saves them. He makes the crooked pets straight. And you know, that which was crooked in my life for those years up to the age of 18 and a half, the Lord Jesus Christ made straight. He makes that which is crooked straight. He makes sense of things that we can't understand. He gives us eyes to see. It must have been a wonderful occasion for that woman when she got up and straight, her back was straightened and she was able to see the beautiful sky of God. She was able to appreciate things that she couldn't see before. Her back was straight. That which was crooked was made straight. That's what Jesus can do for you. He can change your life. He can take the crooked paths and make them straight. He can change your life of sadness 
and sorrow and maybe grief. I meet people all over the country and from different parts and some people's lives are destroyed by grief. But the Bible tells us in the Psalms about God and about the Lord Jesus Christ. He healeth the broken in heart and binded up their wounds. That woman was overjoyed when the Lord Jesus Christ changed her life, being afflicted for 18 years. How many years have you lived your life? Have you lived them without the Saviour? Have you lived them without knowing God's peace and forgiveness? Have you lived them without having any assurance of where you go when you die? Well, the Lord Jesus Christ hasn't changed, for the Bible says Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today and forever, this same Jesus can touch your life and change your life today. He can take away the heart of stone and he can give you a heart of flesh. He can give you peace instead of turmoil. He can give you assurance instead of hopelessness. The Lord Jesus Christ, that's why he came. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. And I praise God for the story in the Bible of the woman who was bent over and Jesus healed her, straightened her back. He can straighten you out your life. He can fix whatever problem you're faced with. There's nothing too hard for him. He says, without me, you can do nothing. And without God, nothing shall be impossible. But you've got to ask him. You've got to call upon him. You've got to seek his face. You've got to come to him with your sin. And you've got to say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Will you save my soul? Will you forgive me my sins? He'll change your night today. He'll change your eternity from hell to heaven. May God bless his word to you today. Amen.